Jill Palmer, I was so amazed when I saw that you were signing up to come on my French art school because um, I grew up wearing JAG clothing and um, had a lot of my, my early years uh, lusting after the clothes of Myers and David Jones and wore those throughout my teen, teen and early 20s. And uh, you've clothed most of Australia. Uh, and I was really keen to see how would a fashion designer go uh, on French art school with painting? How's that been for you? Well, it's been a bit of a challenge because I'm not a good painter mm -hmm. and I'm not a good drawer. Um, in my fashion area, area, I would draw really un uncomfortable sort of clunky figures and my designers would um, <laughs> make a nice drawing of them. So I was really thrilled to be here because Jack has a different way of doing things. She's really great. She, it's not just a paintbrush. You can pick up anything around the studio and make a mark with it. Okay, so we, we used a few things alternative to paintbrush because paint, when you hold a, a paintbrush, you're holding hundreds of years of, of tradition and it's a little bit intimidating, isn't it? And there's other really strong ways to get paint down that actually looks confident even if you don't feel confident. Yes, yeah. Well, you know, you, you are a wonderful teacher. Oh, I have done. to give Yeah, I have to give you that. Thank you. And, you know, there's a blank canvas in front of you <laughs> and Jack says we're going to do this and we all come out with lots of joy in the process of doing it, uh, but everybody's is totally different. It's so cool. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> um, we, we're following in the footsteps of French Impressionism. We, look, we looked at Monet, we looked at a whole host of um, lesser known but just as amazing uh, French Impressionist artists around the Creuse mm -hmm. Valley area. How did you find that as an inspiration, uh, looking at painting and how paint was put on and the colours and subject matter? Was that enjoyable for you? Yes, and it really made me aware of the marks that you put on a painting. Yeah. It's not just, you know, a bit of a line and, and whatever. Um, totally different to what I would have expected to do. Oh. And it works. Okay, cool. Yeah. When you read the itinerary for French Art School, and now you've had the experience, um, what I say and suggest we're going to do in the itinerary, um, did, it, did, did, did the tour live up to your expectations? Well, I would say absolutely. Yeah. Um, if I can make one comment, I was so itchy to paint <laughs> and we didn't paint for maybe four days uh, because we were doing all the museums and yeah. the art galleries and stuff. But uh, I realise now that that was a learning process. Yeah. Yes, and I should have been more patient about that. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. And uh, you had, you had, we all had sketchbooks and... Um, also, there was, um, if you wanted to come up to my room, you could, could have, but I think, uh, you know, we, we were, there was an offer to do some painting from up there, but I think we got up there and we all enjoyed the champagne and chatting. So sometimes you have to bust out of inertia when you're traveling and you're actually in that hotel situation because hotels don't really lend themselves to being studios. But um, I think it might be worth try me trying to rent a little studio in Paris so that you, we can get that itch scratched for you next time. Well, that could be <laughs> terrific. <laughs> <laughs> That would make it perfect. Yes, mm. yes. But it was pretty pl uh, pretty close to perfect. Yeah, fantastic. And how, how's the food been for you? Food has been absolutely fantastic. Mm. I'm very surprised that I'm not fatter than usual <laughs> <laughs> because the chef did a great job. He really did. Yeah, mm. yeah. Well, Danny, thank you so much. And um, do you think you're going to go back to Australia feeling rebooted creatively? Absolutely. And I can't wait to go to Jack's course, which is in October. <laughs> <laughs> I get to hang out with you again. That's fabulous. Yeah, it'd be great. And darling, you've just been an absolute gem and a treasure. And you've shared yourself and your wonderful stories with everybody. And we've all absolutely adored having you. So, you oh, know, thank you, Jack. I feel it's like I've had a visit pleasure. from the Queen, and, uh, but a very funky Queen. And you're a wonderful, wonderful person. And thanks for sharing all your inspiration too. Gorgeous.